Speak Indo podcast is a medium to think about life while learning about the Indonesian language and culture. Hi, I'm Natasha, the host of Speak Indo podcast. The first part of the story will be narrated in the Indonesian language. The second part will be in English. The transcript is available on our blog speakindo.life and our YouTube Speak Indo channel. Season 4, Episode A11, My Brother's Bike Kakakku empat tahun lebih tua dan waktu kecil, aku ingin sekali seperti dia yang sudah mahir naik sepeda roda dua. Di satu malam, keinginan aku ternyata sampai terbawa mimpi. Dan di mimpi aku itu, Aku sudah bisa lancar sekali dengan sepeda kakakku. Pagi hari saat aku bangun dari tidur, aku berlari ke garasi dan mengambil sepeda kakakku. Aku harus naik kursi karena sepeda itu terlalu tinggi. Kaki aku mendorong kursi dan sepeda meluncur pelan. Sempat aku senang sekali, tapi sekejap sepeda itu menabrak pintu garasi. Dan karena kakiku masih belum bisa mencapai lantai, maka aku terjatuh dan kepalaku bagian kanan terkena lantai. Aku menangis sekencangnya dan orang tuaku panik berlari menolong. Saat itu aku masih sempat kebingungan antara mimpi dan realita. Untungnya kejadian itu tidak membuat aku trauma untuk belajar lagi. Sejak itu ayahku dengan giat mengajarkan aku hingga akhirnya beneran aku bisa. The next one will be the English version of the story. My brother is four years older than me, and when I was young, I really wanted to be like him, who could already ride his two-wheeled bicycle very well. One night, my wish was actually carried into my dream, and in that dream, I was very good at riding his bicycle. The next morning when I woke up, I ran into the garage and took my brother's bicycle. I had to climb a chair to reach the seat as the bicycle was too high for me. My legs pushed against the chair and the bicycle slowly rolled away. For a moment, I was very happy. But within a second, the bicycle hit the garage door and as my legs could not reach the floor, I fell and hit the right side of my head against the floor. I cried loudly and my panicked parents ran to help me. At that time, I was confused, trying to grasp whether I was still dreaming or was awake already. Fortunately, that incident did not traumatize me to keep learning. Ever since that time, my father diligently taught me how to ride my bicycle until I could actually do it. We are in the midst of repeating history, where greed and power dividing and manipulating the world through war of hunger, illness, and fear. It's not about taking sides, it's not about beating the enemies, but it might be about unlocking wisdom and beating the brute in our soul. Probably one day when we look back, we will learn how valuable is the time that we have to hug our loved ones, to be kind to our fellow humans, and to thank the sun for shining upon us. We'd like to thank the people who have supported our program, especially our guest speakers, for sharing their true stories.